Espresso is not just some beverage which has got black color, coffee color, and it is going to be darkish, right? It's got more complexities. So, <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Good content. Alright, so this is a very fantastic video that we have planned for. It's about espresso tasting and what salami is, espresso salami. But before we start, I would first want you guys to start subscribing because we got a lot of views but uh, people are not subscribing it would be really great if you just subscribe and I'll also share it across so once you've done with that then we'll start the video okay now that you've done it espresso salami is basically day three of your uh, life and coffee it should be at least done like on the third or the fourth day of your uh, life and coffee because it just makes you realize that espresso is not just some beverage which is got black color, coffee color, and it is going to be darkish, all right? It's got more complexities. You'll find saltiness, you'll find sweetness, you'll get tartiness, you'll get a lot of complexities in espresso. Even today, that is why in the Barista Championships, you'll see that espresso forms the part of your beverage while you serve it to the uh, judges. So we're gonna start with the espresso salami right now. What we would be doing is, So, what we shall be doing is, espresso salami is nothing but, you plug the portafilter in and you start taking the first and then keep taking next 5 seconds of the espresso in your cup. There you go. You've tasted this earlier, right? You have? I want somebody who has not tasted it. I think... Netik! Yaar, you tried espresso salami. No! Ah, okay, okay. What is this espresso salami? It's a uh, salmon ka fish piece on top of espresso. Uh -huh. And... Uh, but you are exactly as right as your quantity of aeropress recipe. Chame, come on! The bugger got disqualified in the aeropress champion because he served 127 ml of coffee. Ah! Okay, I'll, I'll just give you any part of the espresso, any, any cup. You just need to figure out which is what. Okay. Like what would you think would be which one? Yeah. Let's try this. So, entire. <coughs> Fuck. Fuck. I'm pretty sure this is the first five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Good you content. Go? <laughs> Good content. So that was the first one? That was the first, definitely the first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, the, this is definitely the second one. Less harsh, more sour. Oh, third, third, yeah. Okay, cool. So, can you tell like how did you identify the first, second, and third? Yeah, the first uh, one, I don't know. It was very concentrated mm -hmm. from my previous conversations with Mithili sir. I think there was a lot of tannin in it, if I'm right. Yeah. So, because of that, I couldn't take it in. The second one, it was less harsh, more sour notes. Mm -hmm. So it was mm -hmm. very enjoyable. The third one was enjoyable too, but I, I, I'll say it was less flavorful than the second one. The third one was more watery than the second one. The second one was much enjoyable. I would prefer the second one, okay. not the first one. Okay. Definitely not the first one. Okay. Thank you so much, Andar, for volunteering. So what we've done is basically from the same shot, we have divided the espresso in three parts, right? This is the first seven seconds of the espresso, if you would see, Visually, much darker, much thicker, heavy. It'll be heavy, having a heavy body, all right? Mm. This second one will be a little bit more balanced. It'll be more sweeter, I would say, and uh, towards a nice espresso kind of a body. The third one will be much bitter. Mm. It'll be kind of a over extracted espresso that you would say. And uh, it'll be, the body will be much liquidy. So a great part about this thing is the point of, of making this video is for you all to understand that from the same espresso, from the same two spouts, if you just divide into three, like the time of extraction, like what gets extracted first, if you kind of get to know about that, 
you are more than sorted to dial in the grinder. Uh, I think this is a better way to dial in a grinder when we start the cafe or you're working for a championship thing. You split the espresso, start tasting that if this is super acidic, you've kind of figured out that the, the fruitiness needs to be reduced or the acidic uh, kind of tartiness has to be reduced so maybe find up a notch or maybe you have more coffee on in your puck you know that way you can start deciphering about those things espresso salami is something that it is a practice or a training for the third day and you start describing what you basically uh, experienced and then do it on the seventh day then do it on the 20th day do it on the 25th day do it on the second month, fourth month, fifth month. By the end of like a year, my guarantee, I'm sure about it. You'll try to, you'll kind of understand what the language of the grinder, calibration of the espresso machine and this thing is. So you'll get to know how to calibrate the grinder much better, how to pull out the shot, how to get the best out of the coffee much better. So that is what espresso salami was all about. As mentioned earlier, please do like, share and subscribe. We're getting a lot of views on the YouTube thing, but not increasing in the subscriptions. Subscription, right? Yeah, 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 sub yeah. In, subscription. in subscribers, in subscribers. We are glad with uh, what you've been responding and what the questions and everything have been coming along. But uh, yeah, it would be really helpful. So thank you so much. Please hit the like, share and subscribe button. Share, please do share. Please put it on your stories and everything. Thank you. Wait one second, one second. So you have to gulp it. It's very important. Yeah. Salami. Just. That's how it's done. <laughs> cool.